Welcome back into Subnautica. Um, I am over by the island here. This is the the. Not, oh, that's something we're gonna be looking at shortly. Is that under? Yep, we're gonna be looking at that shortly. There we go. I'm underneath the island farm here. Um, I'm gathering some resources along the wall. Uh, and I uh, I did a recording earlier, and as it turns out. I, uh, I, I for, for many reasons I, I couldn't I couldn't use it not all of it but there are pieces snippets and so I'm gonna recount some of what happened in the episode that is missing in between uh, one of the things that I did find was um, I found a number of more blueprints I, I found the uh, prawn suit torpedo arm the Cyclops fire suppression. New blueprint acquired. And the light stick. So those New things now can be made. Acquired. Um, I also located, uh, as I was cruising around, and actually before I even started that, I was collecting these lore on the previous episode and found, I know that image there. Um, I found, um, uh, Magnesite that I was collecting and one of the worms down in the, 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 the vent that I was in ate my sea moth. So we were on sea moth number two. Um, I also found this, the alien vent. Interesting place. Water going in, water going out, and we found a, a critter that was uh, teleporting me around. Uh, and that's that image that we just saw a second ago, was uh, one of those things doing a teleport. I also found uh, a, a radio message for a Life Pod 2. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Wait, I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. And after that, I decided to come over here to the island and establish an outpost. That's down there. It's Outpost Alpha. Thank you. 
As you can see, it's just kind of starting out a little bit uh, of, you know, not done yet, but getting there. Uh, I still have to find a lot of resources, and some of the resources that are uh, sh more shallow are harder to find. So that's why I'm up here collecting at the moment. Uh, and then while I was building it out, I ran across some life forms. I ran across a little walking crab. I came across uh, a, another one of the teleporting guys along with uh, some kind of uh, squid critter. And then I discovered a leviathan, a new one, called a ghost leviathan. I did eventually get a scan of it, but as you can see, it um, it exacted a price from me for it. Where did I put my CMOS? It's over there. Okay. And uh, when I was putting the base together, the Ghost Leviathan came over just after I had completed the build of my uh, my moon pool. And I went to get the Seamoth, and the Ghost Leviathan had eaten it. So we're now on Seamoth number three. Three is the number of the Seamoth, and the Seamoth number shall be three. That's a three. 
So uh, I'm like I'm around here collecting some more resources because uh, I need to do some building down there, and I'm trying to collect resources from the area when I do this. It doesn't always cooperate. Mostly I'm looking for lead right now because I need to create some platforms. And uh, the platforms are going to require me to get lead. So then I can have enough stability to put down another moon pool. Moon pools takes like six stability. So I need like three platforms to put down a moon pool. So here is outpost alpha from the outside. It's fairly simple with the uh, two multi-purpose rooms and a moon pool just over um, what looks to be another layer down. Uh, I actually came across a message about, I don't know, titanium or something in there? Where was that? That was here. Signs show extensive cave networks below the surface of this area accompanied by an unusual energy signature. And then I got this on the radio about uh, some, a patrol looking for one more target. I think that's me. I think they're looking for me. Somebody's looking for me, man. That's 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 disturbing. All right, I'm gonna unload and then we'll head back out. All right, I've got that all done. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and take a look at the alien vent, not the alien, but the alien um, underground location. We got everything out of storage, didn't I? Yeah. So now that I have a uh, a block, you can actually see where it goes. All right, is that that one? No. Systems online. There. Did find some smokers here. They're uh, oh, actually, you know what? I might act with the reinforcement. Can I get near them now? Maybe. I can. Nice. So I couldn't get here without the reinforced uh, gear that I have on. Okay, here's the portal. I can't get in there with the sea moth, so we will uh, abandon that gear and go on in. Put it on the power to pedestal over here. Where's the donut? Five. Huh. So that come from this direction? Usually this thing will come up and you can use it. So this is not activatable from this side, I take it. Well, damn it. So much for bringing in my thing. All right. found a bone shark that was interesting and I got a couple of pieces of lead it might be enough I might have two more in my inventory let's take a look and see what that bone shark is all about large powerful predator lives in small groups and fiercely defends its hunting grounds thickly armored exoskeleton suggests defensive adaption either to large predators or any species of aggression marked similarity to the segmented exoskeleton of the chance chance shark hmm. large eyeballs uh, consistent with high light sensitivity, likely for hunting, generally slow and unresponsive as a means of energy conservation. They will act with uncompromising speed and aggression against any threat. Hmm. May be distracted by light sources. Okay. So I was lucky, is, is what you're saying. Cool. Let me take a look at my storage. 
Yeah, I don't have any other weapon here. I did find also with my reinforced piece here, this guy, who used to cause me problems, doesn't do that anymore. He doesn't get through. Well, actually, I guess he is hitting. Is he doing some damage? He's doing a little bit, not much. Before it was it was all bad. Now it's not so bad. All right, I'm gonna collect a little bit more, and I'll see you back at Alpha of uh, the Outpost Alpha. And we are. I've just finished beating myself up here. I've added. Uh, actually, can I see it through here yet? No, almost. I need a table coral. And table curl will finish off the scanner room right there. I added a couple more uh, platforms here. So this base now has a stability of nine. So I could add a, another another move pool uh, eventually. Uh, I'm having a hard time finding a space to put a move pool. In fact, let me take a look here. Maybe I should put the scanner room not here. I tried to put the moon pool here. In fact, I think that's actually a good idea. Let's take the, this back off. I'll put it... I'll put it off here. Yes, I think I like it better there. There we go. So then I have... I, I, this looks like another spot where I can put like another multi-purpose room. Uh, but I'm going to have to stick it out a bit. See, I can't find a spot that will actually connect nicely. Well, I think I just found an exploit too. This won't go on, which is uh, unfortunate. However... If I come into this thing that I haven't spent any resources on at all, I get oxygen. I can just pop this down anywhere, right? Just go grab that and just go, uh, how about... There. I need oxygen again. Excellent. I'm all full in oxygen. Let's take that back. Uh, so, yeah. Never drown again. Okay. Well... I think that's going to do it for now. We, we went to the alien, uh, the underwater, underground base. We found that we couldn't plug in a power source to it and use that gate. So that's probably going to get activated from somewhere else, potentially. Um, we also found, oh, maybe I need a tablet with me. I don't know, but we'll see. I can always grab a tablet at some point. Uh, we got this place built up a little bit more. We've got the scanner room going. Um, and I think power's doing good. I'm starting to expand my my storage here. I've got my corridor going on down that way. Great. All right. Yeah, we'll come back and, and continue on. I will do a little bit more work here at the base before we come back, and then we'll talk about what I got done. But uh, thank you for joining me. Take care. Creeping through the shadows and the corners of your mind I go where the wind blows, I run but I don't hide I hear the call of the wild, whispering my name No, I can't be tamed, my heart belongs to the night I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm, a, I'm alone girl. I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a